This week, the Dutch company Paul V announced the first flights of its prototype flying car. This unique vehicle is called the Paul V-1, or the personal air and land vehicle. And it marks the start of a new era. On the ground, the vehicle drives like a sports car. Within minutes, its rotor is unfolded and its tail is extended. Then it is ready to take off thanks to the advanced gyrocopter technology. With these successful test results, it's proven that it is not only possible to build a flying car, but also that it can be done within existing international rules for both flying and driving. Having passed this important milestone, the company is now inviting investors to join them in creating the future. The next step will be the design of the first commercial production model of the Paul V, and first deliveries are expected in 2014. For 100 years, people have been dreaming of a flying car, and many attempts have been made to realize this dream, but now it has truly become a reality. Plane, half vehicle, the Aeromobile 2.5 recently demonstrated a successful takeoff and landing. The futuristic beast is an impressive, functional prototype of the company's Aeromobile 3, a third generation concept. The minds behind the craft note, in terms of automobile configuration, it fits to a standard parking space. Its engine enables it to tank at any gas station, it is fully accustomed to road traffic, and as a plane, it could both take off and land at any airport in the world. The Aeromobile has a Rotax 912 engine, carbon-coated steel frame, and collapsible wings. That final aspect allows the craft to go into two modes. When hitting the streets, the wings conceal nicely into the body of the vehicle. They fold back out automatically before flight, increasing the vehicle's width from 5 to 27 feet. While in road travel mode, the mean-looking two-seater vehicle has a range of nearly 550 miles. As it cruises the skies, the Aeromobile can reach speeds up to 124 miles per hour. Engineer Stefan Klein came up with the idea for the Aeromobile and he's been working to perfect his craft for the past two decades. What do you think of it? 